We have some exciting news coming out tomorrow from Subaru about a new wilderness trim level. A lot of people are really excited about this. The Outback Wilderness and the Forester Wilderness have both been incredibly popular trim levels within the Subaru lineup. And this is a, a third introduction of another wilderness trim into the Subaru family. I'm going to share my guess in today's video on which model I think is going to get this new wilderness trim level as well as talk about some of the features and specs that I think we're going to see on this new model. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy Subaru related content, click on the subscribe button down below. I post new videos each and every week. If you guys have questions or comments or wanna discuss details on this new wilderness trim, leave those down below. I always appreciate the comments and messages you guys send me. Although I don't get the opportunity to answer all of them, I try my best to answer the majority of them. So I really appreciate that. And as always, if you guys get value out of this video, it really helps me out a ton if you click the like button. The unveiling of this new wilderness trim level will be Wednesday, April 5th at the New York Auto Show at 10 a.m. Eastern time. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned. They will be showing that live unveiling on Wednesday. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to make it to the show this year, but I am going to be talking about those details and make a follow-up video for you guys talking about all the specifics once we have it. Subaru has stayed pretty tight-lipped on this unveiling and nobody truthfully knows 100% what model is coming out. Even retailers are not sure which model is coming out. We are all guessing at this point in time. And there's been a lot of wild guesses out there. I saw recently somebody post an image of what appeared to be an updated version of the Subaru Brat, but in the wilderness trim. So I believe that was an April Fool's joke. So whoever came up with this rendering and that image props to you because that was a, a really good one. But the Brat, if you're unfamiliar with, many years ago between the late 70s and into even the 90s, they had this is basically a Subaru sedan with a truck bed in the back. So it's kind of like an El Camino. And in the bed of the truck, they even had two seats. So two passenger seats in the bed of the truck, which obviously would not pass today. That would not happen. So while that is a, a really creative joke, that would not be uh, possible. So uh, they're not going to have a brat wilderness and I feel quite confident in that. Another really wild guess out there and just something that I thought was uh, a funny joke somebody made, the BRZ into a wilderness trim. So the BRZ is our two-door sports car. It's the only rear-wheel drive Subaru we have. And seeing that jacked up, you know, lifted off the ground with some all-terrain tires and wheels looks really funny. But also, you know, it's a unique idea. It looks kind of cool. I'm sure somebody would like that, but the masses would not. So obviously that's not gonna be the new wilderness either. And then the, the last one that I've seen a lot of is the Subaru Ascent. While this is a really good guess, I still do not think that the Subaru Ascent is going to be a good candidate for the wilderness trim. The Ascent is our only third row SUV, and I think it caters to a different type of customer than the wilderness itself does. And while some people may like both, I think if somebody's looking for the Ascent with a sporty package, they're gonna go with the Onyx. They're not going to want a wilderness with off-road tires and, and it you know lifted off the ground. I just don't think that the majority of Ascent customers are going to want that. I could be wrong, but just based off of what I hear from customers on the Ascent myself. The model that I think that Subaru is going to introduce this wilderness on is the Crosstrek. And a lot of people have had this same exact guess. So I didn't come up with this guess myself. A lot of people also have the same idea that the Crosstrek is gonna be the next wilderness trim. And I think that that's a very strong guess. And there are two main reasons. One, getting back to kind of what I said about the Ascent, the clientele or the customer has to match up with the car that they're releasing. And I think it makes more sense to add, take the Crosstrek that typically sells to a younger age demographic and somebody who wants something that is reliable, something that can go off road, but is also sporty, then that's gonna cater more to the Crosstrek customer. And then the second big reason that I think the wilderness is gonna be the next 
best move for this is because the Crosstrek was the number one selling Subaru in 2022 and still continues to be a top performer month after month into the 2023 year. And we saw that both the Outback and the Forester, which are long time popular Subaru models, both performed well with that Wilderness Edition. So I think it makes the most sense to add this to the Crosstrek lineup. Now, what do we expect to see on the Wilderness trim level? And we can look back at both the Outback and the Forester to try to gain an understanding on what Subaru might do if they release the Crosstrek Wilderness. When you look at a Wilderness trim level, it sticks out amongst the others. And that is because it has higher ground clearance. So the standard ground clearance on a Subaru SUV, whether you go with the Crosstrek on up to the ascent is 8.7 inches across the board. But whenever you go up to an Outback Wilderness, you get 9.5 inches of ground clearance. On the Forester Wilderness, you get 9.2 inches of ground clearance. So I think that the Crosstrek is gonna fall somewhere within that range. You also have a rugged appearance with the all-terrain Yokohama Geolander tires, the matte black finish wheels, and more body cladding or higher wheel arch cladding on the sides for additional protection if you do intend to take it off-road. With the Outback Wilderness, we have a 2.4 liter turbo engine, and with the Forester Wilderness, we have the 2.5 liter engine, but it is geared a little bit differently to have higher torque at low speeds. So it's hard to say what Subaru will do with the powertrain on the Crosstrek, but if I had to guess, I think they would probably just continue with the 2.5 liter that is in the Forester Wilderness or something close to that. Sadly, I don't think we are going to get a turbo engine. I know many Subaru enthusiasts want to see that, but I just don't think that that is going to happen for the Crosstrek. And then in addition to that, I don't think that Subaru is going to come out with a wilderness with manual transmission. Subaru's already announced that for the 2024 model year, the manual transmission has been dropped from the Crosstrek lineup. So I don't think that we're going to get that for a Crosstrek wilderness either. On the interior, I think we're going to get the StarTex material. That is the same that is on the Outback and the Forester Wilderness. This is a water repellent synthetic leather, so it's not genuine leather. It's something that is more resilient, easy to keep clean. And so if you are taking it off road, you're getting it dirty, you're getting it wet, it's easier to wipe down and keep clean than the leather or the cloth interior. I think we'll also get the rugged roof rail system on the Crosstrek Wilderness as well, because both with the Outback and the Forester, you have thicker, more rugged roof rails that allow for higher load capacity. So if you want to put a rooftop tent up there, you can do so easily with these roof rails. These are just some of the details that I'm guessing on for the new Wilderness model. Let me know your all's guess down below. Do you think that it's the Crosstrek or do you think that it's another Subaru model? Let me know your thoughts down below. As always, if you guys enjoyed this video, click the like button. I hope you have a great day and I will see you in the next one.